Hey, how's it going? Dave2D here. This is something very special from Acer. It's the Predator 21X. So this box has a laptop in it. It's huge. It's the biggest, it's the heaviest, it's the most expensive laptop in the world. And I normally don't unbox things, but because this one's kind of special, I thought I'd share the experience with you. This is so big. I don't even know why they needed such a large box. Wow. Okay. Oh my f this is so heavy. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I gotta see this. I gotta see what it looks like. Okay, this is surprisingly heavy. I knew it would be heavy. But this is heavier than I thought it would be. Okay. Oh. Now I'm gonna put this aside for just two seconds while I look at the inside. Let's see what else is in here. This looks like a weapons case. Like if I like went to a weapons dealer and he showed me what I was gonna buy, this is what it would look like. What is this? Cool. We have a trackpad. Oh, it's got a number pad on the bottom, but it's like a trackpad slash number pad. Okay, you must be able to switch that in and out. You get pamphlets. Oh no, it's keys. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, I'm assuming this has like removable WASD keys and a removable spacebar, maybe for like, I don't know, we'll see. That's pretty cool. I should take this stuff out because we're gonna plug it up in a minute. We get two very large AC adapters to power this thing. I wanna see what this looks like on the inside. Cause this is special. Holy smokes. You could get a serious workout just lifting this thing all the time. Oh, okay. I love the blue keys. This keyboard, it's so weird seeing this type of keyboard in a laptop. Like this is like, like your regular desktop keyboard and it's a mechanical, I think it's mechanical, it feels it could be like a, a cherry brown or like a brown switch. This feels like a really nice keyboard. And it's weird to have this kind of key travel and this type of tactility in a laptop. Are you kidding me? Okay, this is cool. I thought this would be a sticker, but it's not. This looks like it's like painted right in. Okay, look at this. Limited edition, 17 out of 300. That's pretty cool. Okay, this shows you how you can use this thing. So you can, okay, I get it. So you just plug it up. Oh, it's magnetic. Oh, that satisfying click. Does it come out? Okay, and you can just flip it when you want number pad and when you want trackpad. Okay, I need to boot this up. Now I didn't go through the exterior features while I opened this because quite frankly, I was like super excited to just boot it up and see it. But now that I've looked at this for a second, the build quality is so good, there's no play or flex on any parts of this laptop. The screen is probably one of the most unique features on this thing. It's a curved screen and I've never actually used a gaming laptop that had a curved screen. This might be the first one of its existence. The whole reason why you have curved screens is to give you that extra level of immersion in games, but the color accuracy and brightness on this thing are fantastic. The other thing that's really cool is that it has a refresh rate of 120 hertz. Games are gonna look really good on this thing. My only suggestion, if you happen to be one of the 300 people that get one of these, is to do this to your keys. It's perfect, now it's like customized to the way that your hands naturally rest. There's an eye tracking thing down here. I've never been a user of Toby eye tracking. I've seen people like play games directly off of this, but I've never tried it myself. So it says caution over here, but I'm gonna crack it open. I should power this down. Okay, we're going in. I'm curious to see what's inside this thing. Uh, am I giving this too much pressure? I mean, it's only $9,000. Oh, it's coming apart. Yes, we're in. Hard drive, two RAM sticks. I'm gonna see the underside now. Four M2 slots, two more sticks of RAM, Wi-Fi card. So the inside is pretty simple to access if you need to get in there. So you're able to run a lot of storage on this thing. Five drive bays, you probably won't need any kind of external storage. 
The Predator 21X uses two AC adapters. Each one of these is 330 watts. It's a lot of juice going through here. And they both connect into this rubber housing, which kind of keeps it in one package. I'm gonna post some specs. I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but this is as loaded as a laptop gets. It's beyond impressive. In terms of the speakers, they don't sound bad, but I think for a laptop this size, I had unrealistic expectations. I kind of thought it would sound amazing. They do get louder than your average laptop though. The SLI GTX 1080s are incredibly powerful. This is the stuff that dream desktops are made of. And then when you put it into a laptop form, it becomes even crazier. I ran some benchmarks just to see how it would compare. It performs like a crazy powerful desktop. It's insane how much horsepower this thing has. All right, I wanna play some games. Let's put this thing to the test. The frame rate on this thing is friggin' amazing. My ultimate is charging. My tactical visor is charging. Come here, get stabilized. I'm taking care. One thing I just noticed, the fan noise when you're idling is surprisingly quiet. I thought this thing would be significantly louder because it's a pretty powerful processor. But even when you're playing games, if you're on the default mode, it's pretty quiet. The external temperatures are very comfortable even when you're playing games. When I'm running benchmarks, there is some thermal throttling on the default mode, but if you crank up the fans, the throttling disappears and you can overclock it pretty generously. I don't know if the mic will pick it up, but the fans are on full tilt right now and it's loud. Obviously this is a very powerful laptop, but whether or not it's worth it, chances are if you're watching this video and you're kind of wondering whether or not you should buy it, this is not for you. But if you wanna live the dream and you have the money for this thing, this thing is incredible. Amazing performance, amazing device, limited edition, pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. I'll see you guys next time.